Hey all, Tom Moran here from Tom's Big Spice. First off, I hope that everybody had an amazing Christmas and a holiday break. Uh, we definitely did over here. Just to comment, uh, yes, I obviously did not put up a video last week. I do try to keep on a weekly schedule, but I want to make it very, very clear that I do the Tom's Big Spider stuff for fun. I do work full time. This is my Christmas break that I get to enjoy some time with the family. And quite frankly, I didn't feel like being holed up in my transfer room editing a video. So I took a week off. And I know people are well-meaning when they come on and say, yo, where's the video? But for me, that's kind of like, where's the video? I don't need to do a video right now. I need to spend some with my family so please keep that in mind i know there are a lot of youtubers out there that do this full time this is their job they create videos they create content they run ads because they are making money for it there are other folks out there that are retired that have the extra time for me i have a family i have a job so please know that if i take a week off or if i take a month off or if i take two months off I will always be back, and if there ever comes a point where I've had enough of it, you guys will be the first to know. So I just wanted to get that out of the way because I think there's some confusion sometimes because people are used to the YouTubers having videos out every week, and I do appreciate that folks are that excited about me putting out new content. Believe me, I appreciate it. But I just wanted to make sure that everybody's clear on the fact that, yep, sometimes here and there I will take time off. Now in this one, we're gonna be rehousing my Latrodectus Variolus or Northern Black Widow Spider. I had a bunch of these, a sack that Billy found when she was on her job, she actually works in pest control. Yes, I do appreciate the irony of that. And while on a customer's property, she found these, they wanted her to spray. The female got away, but she grabbed the egg sac, we saved it, and well, here the baby's all grown up, or at least one of the babies all grown up. So enough of me talking, let's get into the video and find out a little bit about L. variolis, or the Northern Black Widow in their care. All right, so we're about to rehouse my Latrodectus variolis, or Northern Black Widow spiders. Billy actually found a sack of these while on duty, apparently under a rock by somebody's pool. They were going to have to exterminate them. The mother ran away, or she would have grabbed the mother, but she found the egg sack. We picked it up, I think, in June, around late June, June 21st. We got the sack. I put it into a 20-ounce deli cup with holes poked in the side with a needle, so there wasn't all that much space for them to get out. Kept it in my garage, so it had the same temperatures that there were outside, and at that point, we're talking about 80s, humid, and they hatched out on July 30th. So at that point, I kept them in there for a little while, misted the inside of the enclosure down so they could get a drink, wait till they molted again, and then they started basically eating each other, so that was the point I separated four of them out to keep for myself and released the rest of them in the surrounding woods. So yes, we're up in Connecticut, they are up in Connecticut, and they are gorgeous spiders. The first time I got these, I got them from Jeff at Torpedoes and Tarantulas, I raised those up to adulthood, they end up dying off and I've been dying to get some more, so it was really cool to get these. So this one here is a female that we're about to rehouse. And this enclosure is definitely too small for her, but this is what I put her in, if you can see her there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the top off. Yeah, she, she, oh, they always seem to go towards where I am. I don't know if she's going to, oh, poor girl. Let me just grab this with tongs so I can flip it over. So hopefully Billy can get some shots at her. You can see the pattern on the booty if Billy wants to zoom in on her. That broken hourglass pattern, that's what differentiates the, was it Mactans, I believe is the southern, I, I'm kind of trying to remember this, is the southern black widow that has the completed hourglass. This one has the broken hourglass that you can see, right, and... There. there we go, a little pointing. So as a baby, we put her in this enclosure. Now what I should have done, because what they like to do is they come off the ground a little bit and they do their webbing so they stay a little bit off the ground. What I should have done is one of these bad boys here, if Billy wants to zoom out, this is the ones I use for like my avicularia species where you cut the, basically flip it over, cut the bottom of the cup off, use that as a base, fill it with substrate, and then you put the fixings up here. So what that would have allowed her to do is kind of create her webbing up here. When you drop stuff in, they come down, grab it, super web it up, and bring it back up and eat it. But unfortunately, I didn't have any of these ready, and I had to scramble to try to get the babies I wanted to keep out because, again, they were starting to munch on each other, so I ended up grabbing just a regular deli cup. So what we're going to put her into is this here. Look, at she's just sitting there so beautifully. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love widows. I've been obsessed with widows since I was a kid. And... Whoop, 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 don't you leave. Here we have one of the AMAC boxes. I believe it's like, I will put the actual dimensions up here, but it's around three and three quarters, three and three quarters by about six and three quarters, I think, tall. She'll be able to, what we did here is a glued a little cork bark against the glass. We have some plants, because what you'll do is come up off the surface and web up in here. And when you drop the prey in, they swoop down, grab the prey, again, spin it up and come up. So hopefully that will work out 
well for her, and that will carry her the rest of her life. And she's a little shy with the lights. Oh man, look at her stretched out. Now stretched out, this one is actually quite large. I'm gonna go get the brush over here. Hopefully it's showing up, all right. So what we're gonna do is just try to shoo her into this one here. Go ahead, girl. No, don't kick him. Look at, oh, that's actually adorable. Yeah, she's got to be about in, probably an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half. Go, 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 go. No, no, look at this. Actually, she's got to be even longer than that because I think those front legs are about an inch. I'm just going to put her down here so she'll go that way. Go, 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 go. There you nice. go. Oh my God, she's freaking beautiful. Oh, what a stunning spider. Now, as far as the setup here, I have substrate. I have some moss, which I can moisten down. There's a little bit of moisture in there, but keep in mind, there are in Connecticut where we have you know moist days. We have very, very dry days. So there really wasn't a lot I had to do as far as you know overdoing it with the husbandry. It's just we had the perfect climate for her. Hopefully she'll be able to, you know, oh, she's going nuts. What's she doing, webbing there? Well, webbing. So as the babies, I fed them fright frightless fruit flies. They were very frightened, so it wasn't really frightless. Flightless fruit flies, which they munched up when they got a little bit bigger. What I used was pinhead red runner roaches, which work great for the little guys. And they will take down prey. Once they put on some size, they'll take on prey almost the same size of themselves, which is pretty impressive. Again, they swoop down, they grab it, they web it, and they do that thing where they shoot the webbing out of their backside and kick it. So they spin it all up, and then they go back and feast on it later. It's really kind of cool. So tag it, web it, and then eat it later. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Temperatures in the tarantula room, this well, in the garage, they were mid-80s to 90s when the sack was basically getting ready to hatch and then once we got them up in the tarantula room that's when it would hit like 82 83 degrees up here lately it's been in the low 70s or so they're doing just fine they're eating i actually have two more of them unfortunately one of them ended up passing away i have a male that i'm considering putting in here with her we'll see because it's winter time and that's going to be a lot of babies to deal with we'll see how it goes and then i have another female a, a juvenile female that hopefully will be molting out soon i can't believe how big she is Right now, she's not even completely stretched out, and that's easily inch and a quarter, so probably about an inch and a half or so. But awesome spiders, bad rep. I mean, the problem with these guys are the venom won't kill you. It can be dangerous for younger children, people with health issues, or older, you know, obviously elderly folks. But for most people, a bite is not going to kill you. They've kind of a lot made about black widows gotten over the how many years and it's a lot of it's overblown they've also as you can see there are not particularly defensive they more try to get away from you the issue people have is like this one was in a rock by a pool sometimes they're in wood piles and somebody goes to grab them puts their finger on the spider and that's when they get a bit so that uh, get bit so that's where they can be dangerous but overall very shy spiders very fun to watch hopefully i'll be able to get some footage of her hunting at some point hopefully we got some good pictures of her because the last time i had these the ones I got from Jeff, I did not get a lot of good images of. And as far as growth rate on these guys, obviously it's been, what, about six months and she's fully grown. She'll probably go on to live several months after that. I think the last ones I had went over the one year mark or so. So they live a decent amount of time, but again, they are true spiders. So they're not going to have those long lifespans that the tarantulas have. We get kind of, what is the term, spoiled there with the tarantulas. So there we go. My Northern Black Widow. Hopefully she likes this new enclosure. Later on, I'll mist it a little bit in case she wants a drink. And hopefully what she'll do is start webbing up in here. We'll put some prey items in and let her go and hunt and maybe we'll get some footage of that. So obviously as a New England spider, these guys are quite hardy and deal with a myriad of weather conditions. We have patches in the summertime where it is super dry. We have no rain and the sun's beating down. It's 90 degrees. We have other patches where it's super humid and raining all the time. So they can deal with a lot of different conditions. I did try to make sure part of the substrate stayed moist at all time. And what I would do is gently mist down the webbing and fake foliage in those enclosures every week or so when I would feed them or every tw or twice a week when I would feed them and make sure they had some 
water to go out and drink. Remember in the morning when they come out and there's dew on the ground, that's probably a good spot for them to come out and drink. So I tried to simulate that. They're great eaters. They obviously grow fast. It's been six months and this girl is full grown. And we'll see if I do any breeding of them. But I do always want these guys in my collection because since my high school biology teacher, Mr. Clocker, told us about these guys years back and how they were kind of overblown and not the scary spiders that everybody made them out to be, I've been obsessed with them. So it's awesome to have them now. So that will do it for this one. As always, if you liked it enough to subscribe, very much appreciate it. Click the little circle up in there. If you want to check out some more videos, I will put them over in here. If you take the time to comment, no, I will take the time to respond. It just may take me a couple days. Guys, stay safe. If I don't hear from you beforehand, have a happy new year and we'll catch you next time.